Slipping rib syndrome is actually very common, and most people can self-diagnose themselves. You don't really need a chiropractor or a doctor. You literally could have a friend go down your thoracic spine, and what you'll feel is the ribs. You'll feel the angle of the ribs or a prominence in a certain rib. Like you can go down, and all of a sudden there's a fullness there. You know that, and, and if that's where you have the pain, then basically you have a subluxation or a slippage of a rib. So it means that where the rib attaches to the thoracic vertebrae, there's actually a subluxation, so the rib is slipped from its normal position. So one of the treatment options a person could get is manipulation. You could have somebody mobilize that area and see if it stays in place. If it doesn't stay in place, then it means that you injured one of the ligaments that attaches the rib to the vertebrae. Those are the costovertebral ligaments. So in other words, you injured, even though you might have pain on the side here, the actual place where the slippage is or, or the subluxation is where the rib attaches to the vertebrae. So all you have to do is get prolotherapy to that area. Prolotherapy stimulates the ligaments to tighten. You know, the rib gets back into place naturally. And normally I would see people three, four visits for that. And normally prolotherapy is curative for that. So prolotherapy is a great treatment for slipping rib, uh, vertebral subluxations in the thoracic area. And sometimes a slipping rib will pinch on the nerve, the costal nerve. So there are times where it'll zoom down to the front. So even if you have you know, some pain in the front here that you know is from a rib, you know, that also could be slipping rib. So there are times where even if you have pain in the front by a rib, you have to treat the back where the rib attaches, and then you have to treat where the rib attaches in the front. So the rib attaches in the front by the sternum. So sternal costal problems and vertebral costal problems in the back are often intertwined. But the point is, again, when you have a subluxation that keeps repeating or you have a slippage, or a subluxation of a vertebrae or a bone upon another bone, that means you have ligament injury because that's what holds the bones in place. And the best treatment for any sort of ligament injury causing subluxation is going to be prolotherapy because prolotherapy actually stimulates the ligament to heal. And obviously if the thing heals, you just have a nice life and you don't need further medical care, you don't need further chiropractic care.